Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. It's Friday the 16th of June, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates. The new Holland TM series by Pepe978, the Samaj KT301 by JMZ VNF, VNSFDG2, the Planet Modular BGA by Castor DS Agra Service, and the Large Pole Barn by FSG Modding FSG Devar. Have had updates. On the floor in front of me, we've got the American Style Speed Bump. This is by Flint Town Modding. 0.13 megabytes download, two slots on console for the first one. 50 pounds, euros, or dollars. You'll find them under build mode and decoration under others. Just there. Slot count comes down from two to one for any subsequent one. If you decide um, you don't want one anymore, or you've put it in the wrong place or in the wrong direction you can remove them and they have a collision you have a bump like so the American style speed bump by Flint Town Modding next we have got these this is the medium old garages pack this is by 750ti modding 17 0.5 megabytes download I think it is 29 slots and 14 slots for the one next to it these are 30,000 each under build mode and sheds just there the medium garage that one and the medium old barn that one next to it now these don't have um, workshop triggers garage triggers in them they're just a, a garage we do have lighting as you can see I do like this this lighting effect very cool. Centre section on this one for a larger vehicle, piece of machinery, or a massive stack of bales or something like that, whatever you want. Again, with lighting, and then set the this side section, another garage part, double garage that side, triple garage this side. And this one, these are drive through, so you've got a big section on the right hand side, small door opens there. We do have the lights on the outside. Lights on the inside, light switch is just here. Drive through on these two, then this large section here for storage of whatever you want, round to the side. The medium old garages pack by 750Ti modding. Very nicely made and detailed. Next to that, we've got the medium Polish barn by Broth Broster. 18.43 megabytes download, 15 slots on console, 50,000 to buy. All signed build mode and sheds right next to that one. Slot count will come down to one. This one, again, same as the others, very nicely made. Double doors, drive through, no lighting on this one. Plenty of space. Nice creaky sound effect on the doors as well. The medium Polish barn by Vrosta. Next we've got this. Oh, I meant to put some in this. This is the wooden liquid manure tank. In and out. Oh, I thought I'd get up there. Oh, oh, no, not liking it. Another one. Very nicely made and detailed. This will hold 650,000 litres. 8.53 megabytes download. This is by Jonas or Jonas. I have to be careful these days. I think it's Jonas, but could be. 8.53 megabytes download. Four slots on console. 15,000 to buy. We find it in the build mode and silos. Right on the end there. Slot count will come down to one. Yeah, 650,000 litre liquid manure tank. I'm going to check the silo extensions. There you go. Wooden liquid manure tank silo extension as well. That's 11,000. Three slots. Also 650,000 litres that we can place next to close by. If we want to increase our capacity, not too expensive either. Wooden liquid manure tank by Jonas. Next, we have got a representative of... <laughs> I say representative of because there are 24 in this pack. This is the GDR Corner Plates Silo Pack by Eddie and Mue. Mue? I always get it wrong every time. I say it to myself in my head every single time, but then I go say it loud and it just goes to pieces. Is it Mira? 
sorry. 27.25 megabytes download. Now these range in slot counts from threes and fours and then some nines and tens. The ones that have got the side shed buildings are the nines and ten slots ones. And these are massive silos. I've put three out. Um, this one being a sort of what I always refer to as a U-shape rather than a drive-through, but with an end wall. There's no lighting on these, but the level of detail, again, the mods today, yeah, I mean, the level of detail. Plenty of storage space around the side. This one is a corner one, again, with shed space. And then this one's got a shed on the side of it, but it's got the bunkers sideways on them. What I'm concerned about... I'll just double check this one again. Yeah, so that comes up fill level and compacting. Just double check something. I've, yeah, I've got my own markers on. Hmm. That one doesn't. Double check these. Hmm. I'll check the description on this because that confused me somewhat. Right, drive through silos for silage as well as bulk material storage places for loose material with and without shelter right so the silage clamps the ones that come up with the compacting are silage clamps you can compact down your grass hay and that kind of stuff um, to make silage these sorts of ones are for loose material storage so piling up potatoes sugar beet sugar cane and whatever you want to do but like i said there are 24 in this pack so we're going to build mode and we go to our silos that's where you'll find them and we'll start just here. So I'm going to come back a little bit and we'll zoom out a little bit. So that's the first one. 62,000. That one was a 10 slot one. That's the one I've got over in the back corner. Next one. That one. 60,000. 10 slots. 52,000. 4 slots. 50,000. 3 slots. 45,000, 4 slots. 43,000, 4 slots. 41,000, 4 slots. Then we've got the corner one. So this is an, um, yeah tipping place with corner wall. So that's not a silage clamp. That's where you can store stuff into the corner. I mean, you can just put machinery and stuff next to it if you want to, just if you wanted a, a corner wall. 42,000, that one was a 9 slot, I think. Yeah. Uh, so 40,000, 9 slots for that one there. Uh, these can be rotated at 90 degrees, not all round movement. Uh, then that one there, 46,000, that was a 9 slot, which we've already seen. 45,000, 9 slot. 3 slot, 30,000. 3 slot, 20,000. 3 slot, 28,000. That's just without the sheds on them. Three slots, 25,000. Three slots, 35,000. That is a silage clamp. Three slots, 28,000. Three slots, 18. Three slots, 25. Three slots, 21. And these are, are basically wall sections, um, but you can place stuff up against them. They do have a collision on them, so again, if you if you want to put stuff up against them. Um, 3 slots 6,500, 3 slots 8,500, 3 slots 12,500, and that's all of them. <laughs> there are a lot, but like I said, they are nicely made, nicely detailed. I mean, you could build up a whole section, a whole selection of stuff, couldn't you? You could have a whole variety of them all together if you wanted to. The GGR Carrier Plates Silo Pack by Eddie and Muir. Next, we've got the Windmill Pack. It's a day for packs and loads of gear. This is by Omatana. 14.37 megabytes download. We start off with a hut, farmhouse, six slots. We've got a production chain, mill. That is eight slots, 20,000 to buy. We'll have a look at these all in, in the options anyway. Uh, this one, when you've got stuff in it, 50,000 litres of each wheat, barley, oats, sorghum. Corn is 60,000 litres. We can do flour with the first five. Then wheat, barley and flour 
uh, wheat, barley, and flour. Wheat, barley, and corn on the next three. You can make flour, but you get pig food as a byproduct as well. So if you want to do pig food as well, you can. Now, as you can see, that windmill's not turning. I'm going to make an assumption here. As soon as we turn these on, that windmill starts turning. Happy days. Uh, so our farmhouse, sleep trigger on the outside. Inside, got a bit of decoration, a couple of stalls, wardrobe trigger for the farmhouse. We come back out of there we then have various different versions of because this hut is basically this hut just without the windmill on the top of it next one is a cell point you can still go into the hut what i like with this is the millstones as well when it's running the millstones turn as well i said the millstone turns one is fixed one moves um, and it grinds the stuff between which is how a flour mill works or the early flour mills but what's nice about this one if you bring something to the sell point while you're tipping and it's taking the product in the windmill turns another nice little feature <laughs> something a bit different isn't it so that one uh, the sell point that's 10 slots 1000 to buy then next to that we've got these two and these are generators <laughs> these will generate you income we've got eight slots for the windmill and we've got six slots for the hut inside this one rather than stones we have got a generator so that's rotating generating power which can sell and then this one is just a holiday let so you can place it and people will pay to stay in it again okay, we'll have a look at this in a minute and then move on to the last of these which are decorative objects seven slots four slots and six slots seven slots for this one because it's the wind turbine and again or oh, wind turbine windmill sorry but that doesn't do anything other than that. that's just just decorative the first one is empty of furniture so it could just be a storage hut if you want and the second one is a few more slots because that is decorative but it does have the furniture and stuff inside of it Whew. so other build mode under farmhouses that on the end there 5,000 for the hut as farmhouse which was uh, this one here Slot count comes down to one. Can we go back into build mode, go to our productions? Out on the end there. Our production chain factory, 20,000 to buy slot count comes down to one. Then we go to our sell points, 1,000. Slot count comes down to one. Then we go to generators. That one there, 50 grand, 8,400 per calendar month. That one, 20,000. 4,800 per calendar month. Then we come, I've done it again, then we come out of there, go to our decoration, go to others, and there we have those 100 each for the windmill, the hut empty, and the hut with furniture. There we go. That's the windmill pack by Omatana. Next, we've got this. This is the traffic light trailer functional. 1.28 megabytes download, three slots on console. It's by Farm Mods TV. You'll find it under tools and miscellaneous, I think it was. There we go, just there. 2,000 to buy slot count comes down to one. Now, I'm going to hand you over to another Mr. CDP because this does actually work with traffic. But I don't have any traffic on my test map, so I've had to do this on another map. So I'll hand you over. So, operation of the traffic light trailer functional. Um, obviously, on the map I was just on, didn't have any um, traffic, so it doesn't really work, does it? Now this does say it will, this will work on effects lanes to the left. So, looking at it this way, the lane to the left. Now when it says lane, it is only one lane. As you can see, when disconnected, it stays on all the time. It does say in the description, it's not possible to completely turn off for now. You can't enter the vehicle, so you have to be attached to it. But when disconnected, it sits back like that, which is a minor downside because you can't leave it. I mean, not that, I suppose technically you wouldn't want to leave these anyway. Um, but when I put this over here, next to this lane, so I was parked here, the traffic is coming up the road in this lane. So it will only affect the lane directly adjacent because sat here, the traffic just carried on going past no problem at all when it was on red. So it will only affect the lane directly adjacent. So if like this you've got two lanes, only the one that's got the traffic on it won't stop anything to the left of it. 
I suppose because otherwise it can stop other traffic. So what we'll do, hopefully we'll get some traffic coming along in a second. So with it hooked up, it sits upright. Unfold trailer. We turn our lights to red. And we should be able to just wait for some traffic now. The moment of truth. There we go. Traffic stops. Full trailer. And away they go. Well, what's going to do? Let's do that and see whether or not traffic will stop if you're not attached to it with it facing backwards. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. The only downside being if you're not attached to it you can't then adjust it so the traffic would just sit and wouldn't move indefinitely but I'm just curious to see whether or not traffic will stop. And there you have it. So if you're not attached to it the fact the light's red and it's sat there is what's stopping it. I'm assuming there's like a collision or something around it that turns on or off or switches or something like that. Um, so the traffic will stop, even though you're not attached. But like I say, it won't then go until you change the lights. And to change the lights, you need to be attached to it. So it was just a test to see if it works. Back to the other Mr. Silly Pete. And there you go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It does work. I'm sure there will be an update for this at some point where you'll be able to maybe turn it off completely. And possibly when you release it, it might have a stand or something. Um, but that's the traffic light trailer functional by farm mods tv next we've got standard containers and these are anything but standard um, this is by hispano and 82 studio two modders that should not be allowed to get together <laughs> <laughs> no, of course they can. Of course they should. Now this, we've had various different um, liquid containers, grain containers um, from Hispano. And there's also the tipping containers trailer pack, which is required for this mod to work. So this is the standard containers, 100.03 megabytes download. And as you can see, these are a little bit different. We've got ones that will open on the end. And we've got these ones that will open up on the end but also the whole sides open and what's nice about these these are auto load trailers that will do palleted items so anything you're producing your production chain things can be put into these so we've got grain ones we've got liquid ones we've got the wood containers that come standard now if you've got the platinum expansion platinum dlc um these are auto load ones now these can also be used in conjunction with the uh, leaper sc350t and the lizard cranes smv 4531tc5 but it does say very very specifically and over and over again in the description that these are designed to work with the trailer pack by hispano because of the height this sits, the way they've modded them for auto loading and unloading, they work better on these trailers. So this mod is just the containers, but it's designed to work with this trailer pack. So that's just something to be aware of. You will find these under miscellaneous, and you probably just saw them as we were scrolling across. So these come in the container sizes as, as the um, grain container ones we had as well. And we've got standard um, containers. We've got, well, I'll show you. We've got 20 foot, 25 foot. Then you've got standard container with side doors. So that one has a door on the end. That one is the one that's got the side doors and the ones on the end. So it depends if you want you know, which version that you want. You've then got the 30 foot, 35 foot, again, in the two different options. And then we've got a 40 foot, 45 foot, again, end or with the side doors opening. Now, capacities on these, we've got standard containers. So you've got a 20 foot container, that one you can open the end, they do have tension straps, so it says they're tension belts, yes or no, so you can take those on or off, you don't have to have them on there. So that can just be a regular container, you can put anything you want in it and you can strap it down. But we can then go to auto load, auto load 21,600 litres of whatever you want to auto load in, and then there's the unreal capacity at 100,000 litres. Again, don't have to use the unreal if you don't want to, but that will auto load. Then we move to the high cube standard auto load at 25,600 then unreal 120,000 litres then we go 25 foot standard 
27,000 litre auto load, 130,000 litre unreal. Then we go to the high cube at 25 foot. Standard, 32,000 litre auto load, 140,000 litre unreal auto load. The rest of the options I'll go through on the last one because they're all exactly the same on all of the containers. So, this one with the side doors and the end door capacities and stuff are exactly the same as the previous 20 foot one. The only difference is the side doors open on that one. So I'm not going to go through all the options again. 21,600, 100,000, they're all exactly the same. So I'll move on now to the 30, 000, uh, the 30 foot, 35 foot. I'll look at this one, but again, these two capacities and options are exactly the same. It's just the side door option. So I'll look at this one. So the 30 foot standard auto load, 37,800 litres. Unreal, 150,000 litres. Then we've got the high cube version, standard, 44,800 litre auto load, or 160,000 litre Unreal. Then we go to 35 foot, standard, 43,200 auto load, 160,000 litre auto load. Then the high cube version, standard, 51,200 or 180,000 litre auto load. Then we go back to our 30 foot. Then we go on to our 40. 45 again options the same on both it's just the doors so we've got standard 48,600 litre auto load unreal 200,000 litre the high cube version standard 57,600 or 220,000 litre auto load then we go to the 45 footer standard 54,000 litre unreal at 210,000 litre high cube Standard 64,000 litre auto load or 240,000 litre unreal capacity, then back again. So, on this one, we'll have a look at the options. So, we've got sticking configuration, sticker configuration, Lizard 1, Farming Simulator 22, Lizard 2, Logistic Company down the bottom right, or no. We'll put it on that, or that doesn't matter which one. Tension belts, yes or no. So, that's inside whether you've got a tension belt, main colour, anything on this palette here does that. Colour stripe at the bottom, we can change the colour of stripe. It's anything on that palette. And then the colour stickers, that's the detailing on the end. And the logistic, if I go to, let's go red. So the writing on the ends and the writing down the side there. And it's on both sides. But what I'm going to do is also show you on the one with the doors, because obviously the stickers and stuff are on the end this way as well. On the back, it looks like that. So the doors open this side and the back looks like that. So on this version, again, we've got Lizard 1, Farming Simulator, Lizard 2, Logistic Company, or no. So we go back to, it doesn't matter, that for example. Tension belt option again, main colour again, anything on that palette, let's go for blue this time. Now our colour stripe was blue, so let's change it oh, so green, sorry, let's go to red. Oh, that's on the back, isn't it? Because it's not on the front, there you go. So that does the colour stripe. Then the colour stickers, again, the lettering. Let's go for green. There we go. Let's go for a brighter green so you can see a bit better. There we go. So all of that, and then the lettering on the front changes as well. So that's all that. <laughs> the trailers, we've reviewed those before, we've looked at them before. Um, you can also pick these up with a, provided it's not too heavy, depends what you've got loads in it, uh, the uh, wheel loader with the large fork setups, you can use those. I've got a 30 footer, is it 20 and a 30? Come on, I've got now, is that a 40? 40 foot high cube, and that one was a 30 footer. That one opens at the end, this one opens at the sides. Now, we can enter the, the container itself, so I enter vehicle now, I'm on the container. L1. We've got open cover. Now you've got at the top, it's got tailgate, auto load, open load. So we can either, if I press X now. Oh, okay. Sorry, turn the engine on. There we go. Now that caught me out, I'm not going to lie. I used the lead pair to bring this out, this container out, to put it onto the trailer. I came around to this side, and when I pressed enter, I thought I was in the lead pair, but I wasn't. I was in the container, and the lead pair wouldn't move. So if you're using the lead pair and you want to get into the actual lead pair itself, go around to this side and enter the vehicle, and it will let you enter the vehicle, not the container. Just something to be aware of when you use the container. So let's jump in there. So if I do that now, it has got turned on now. What are you on about? That's weird. Open cover. 
Hmm. Why does that not work? But that's what it looks like with the side open, which is rather cool. Now, considering we've got unreal capacities, which go up to 240,000 litre, these will only hold one item at a time. You can't, it's not like a pallet storage where you can have multiple different things stored on it. I have tried to load different things on. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I have tried to do raisins and strawberries and there was carton rolls. It took the carton rolls, but then wouldn't let me take anything else, so I loaded that. It then took the strawberries, but wouldn't take anything else. I took the strawberries out and then put raisins in. So at the moment we've got raisins in here. As you can see, it puts them in these boxes and it will stack them all the way along. So if I do unload now, it will put them out, but then I need to move the lorry. That's another thing as well. When you get to a sell point, it will give you the option to unload. Oh, that's why. It detached it. That's why it wasn't working. It detached it. There we go. So you see, it's auto-loading in. That could be why it wasn't working. Let's jump back on there. That's better. Right. So, unload. See, that's only going to work at a sell point because as you can see actually what I need to do let's change that so L1 and X I think this will open the rear actually it's that in there isn't it it's open that in I put the container on the wrong way around that's all right so it's open that way let's press it again and then open cover Potentially this won't auto load this time. I think it switches between auto loading and not. But we'll double check. Unload. Nope, it's taking them all back in again. Yeah, so that's. If you want to unload onto the ground, that's going to be a bit trickier because it just wants to auto load straight back on again. And it's set to work at this height on these, on these trailers. So what we'll do. I know I shouldn't be driving with this open. Though. Once you're disconnected, you can, like I say, you can pick it up with cranes and grabs and various different things, but these are auto-load. Let's sell our raisins. Now what we'll do, we should be able to come alongside the carton roll or the strawberries and it will take whichever one. And the other container works exactly the same way. The difference is it's just the end opens, like I say, you've got the side doors. Like I do like this as an option. I think I would... Having the auto loads great. If you've got a load of stuff, and I suppose on my edge water where I've got so many eggs, something like this would be absolutely perfect. Um, having it without auto load, with this big side that opens, it's like a curtain cider, but not, you know. But the fact you can remove the containers, you can stack them up, you know, that's the beauty with this as well. Is it going to auto load that? There you go. So it's taking the carton roll and puts it aside. But if I now go past the strawberries, it won't take the strawberries as well. It will only do one thing at a time. So that's something to be aware of. Now the same thing with any 82 Studio mods. I always say this because there's various different options and things we can press and change and whatever. If I've missed an option on there, I do apologise. But in essence, it's an auto load trailer. I, I like that concept I like the fact you can take these off the trailer I like the fact you can stack them up um, and the other one will work exactly the same way loads onto the trailer like I said the difference is whereas that one's got the big side that opens that one's just got the end and it's still auto load does the same thing and with all the various different capacities and different sizes what I'll try to do put that there if I Attach that and open the twist locks like that. Now it does say it's designed to work with the trailers, it's not really supposed to auto load or unload from this or the other one. However, it can... Let's hook that up. There we go. Oh, no. What? No. That worked perfectly. Why has that gone? Oh, there we go. Oh. Don't. Woo. There we go. Um, because of the height of it, 
If you drop this down to the ground and try and auto load or unload, it won't work. However, if you get the height right, which is pretty much the same height as the trailer, like somewhere like that, it can. Now this will open and close around the sides of this, which it's not pretty and it shouldn't do, but you can. Nothing is well with this. Let's try and unload. There we go. Apply razor back up again. There we go. So I can unload. If I go back next to the raisins, what I should be able to do as well. Like I say, you're not, you're not supposed to. It's supposed to be with the, the uh, lorry. Yeah, bring that down to the right height. Get that. There you go. Get the height just right. We can auto load from the ground, although technically it's not on the ground because that's about the same height as the trailer. Um, so it will work on this as well um, for moving them around, container open and close and that kind of stuff if you want to, but yeah. you don't have to. It's something to have a bit of a play around with, I think. Um, and I'm sure people will find all sorts of imaginative ways of using them. So, the last of the mods for today, and it's this. The John Deere 7M series. This is by Agrotonio, 19.22 megabytes download and... 17 slots each. Actually, I didn't say the slot counts on those containers, did I? I'm so sorry. Uh, the slot counts on them were the... Actually, I'm going to have to go into it because I've... my mind's blanked without being able to look at them. Right, so they started off on 12 slots, 17 slots, 13 slots, 19 slots, 13 slots, and 22 with the slot counts on those. I meant to say that, I do apologise. So, 17 slots each on these. The John Deere Tractors 7Ms. You'll find these under medium tractors. This one we've got some rice tyre options on these. Now I will say, these have got the new, um, what was it called? It's... Command Quad, that was it. It's got the um, Auto Quad and Command Quad transmissions in them. But there's no options for beacons. I thought, okay, well, this is the new tractors, new versions, isn't it? It will have the um, the flasher units in the in the top canopy, like the roof. There's no beacons on it at all, whether they be flashing strobes or anything like that. Unless I missed an option, I don't think I did. Um, and there's no front three-point link option either. On a newer series tractor, I thought that, but it hasn't. I'm just pointing it out. That may be a make or break for some people, I don't know. Um, but it doesn't happen. So, if we go to our medium tractors, we've got the 7M Auto Quad and the 7M Command Quad. It's just a different um, transmission. I think they've got a slightly different sound as well. We'll see when we, we drive them in a moment. Uh, like I said, 17 slots each. So, this one we start off at 200 horsepower, 215, 230. I think the other one's exactly the same. And as far as I could tell, all the tyre options are exactly the same too. So I'm not going to go through all the different tyre options. I think it just comes down to the transmission. In all honesty, it's the, the, the difference between the two. Because I think all the other options are identical. Um, yeah, transmission, auto quad. So we've got Continental, Michelin, Midas, Trelleborg, Blizzard, Continental. And the Continental we have got... that way a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Michelin. Midas. Trelleborg. Lizard. Back to Continental. Exhaust, we've got standard. We've got chrome tip or direct exhaust. Reverse gear beep, yes or no. Internal props, we've got buddy seat, instructor's bench, radio, thermos, and then combinations of bench and radio, bench and thermos, radio and thermos, and then all three. Instructor bench, radio, and thermos flask inside there. Then we've got antennas left, sorry, antennas left, right, left, and right, or off. Then we've got water container and toolbox and chain. So this side, water container, 
toolbox, chains on the front. Again, options of walk container and toolbox, walk container and chains, toolbox and chains are all three. Window film. Then we've got rear weights and mud guard. This is on the back wheels. So you've got 500 and 1,000 and then a mud guard. And then you can have the mud guard with the weights or all off. Then we've got sunshade and interior mirror. So inside we have a sunshade and then a mirror put in as well. Then we've got cab side lights. Those are quite handy and do give quite a bit of illumination. Attachers, this is on the rear. We've got standard. Sorry, hang on, on the front. We've got standard, sorry. 500, 900, and then, and then we go to the back. So no three-point link option. We come to the back. So we've got... That's on the front. Then we go to without rear hydraulics, so just a normal hitch. Then we can have that hitch with 500 and 900 on the front weight. Back to standard again. Starfire and GS Plus. You can have both of those. So it puts the screen in and puts the Starfire on the roof. Front loader attacher, John Deere, Quick, Hauer, Sugarcane bumper, or off. License plate option there as well. Now, go to the next one over. Like I say, as far as I can tell, it's just it's just the um, transmission because this one is also 200 horsepower, 215, 230. And then I'm pretty sure we'll go through the Continentals first. I'm pretty sure they're all exactly the same. Same with the exhaust, chrome tip, straight through, reverse gear beep, yes or no. Internal props, options are the same. Antennas, yep. Water container, toolbox and chain, window film, rear weights and mud guards, sunshade and inter internal, sorry, interior mirror, cab side lights, yes or no. Attachers, same options on those as well. Starfire, front loader attacher. Yeah, and license plate option. So, Let's hop in this one. So this is the auto quad. Now we do have a few options here. Under L1, hang on, let's go to that. So general animations, L1 and right stick, side to side, does the steering wheel up and down, like that. So from inside, and then just our steering wheel. R1, right stick side to side, does the door. Up and down, does the rear window. L1, R1, left stick side to side, does the sunshade if you've got the sunshade installed? Right stick side to side. To, oh yeah, we've got our seat forward and backwards, and up and down. So we've got some seat movement there, up and down, forward and backward on that as well. Then we can change to our control group to mirror animations. L1 and right stick side to side rotates our mirrors. That does both, so we can have them upright. Portrait or landscape, basically. So if we go to R1, we then get our option of just that one. We can adjust that one, like that, or that one, like that. So we've got some adjustment on our mirrors as well. Horn, lights. Indicators, I'm going to go to like the lighting. Room. We'll go through those again now. And that one on, and then another main beam as well, which is pretty cool. Lighting's good, but there's no beacons. I'll just put the beacon option, which would normally just be the beacon slashing. Um, but yeah, nothing. Let's go inside. Like the air rule, a bit of movement on the air rule breaking as well, but same options for seat, steering wheel, all of that good stuff, windows and doors and that kind of stuff, all exactly the same as the previous one. We can change over to our mirror animations as well. Right, we'll do that one, that one, we've got our if you've got the sunshade. This one I didn't go for sunshade or the extra mirror, I didn't go for all the bells and whistles, all the stuff in the interior. But we have got our seat up and down, falls and backwards as well. 
Now that's got a different sound. You can hear that underlying. Try that because I'm mind track. Oh, it's there. It just seemed louder than the other one. There you go. That's the John Deere 7M series by Agro Tonio. There is a new map out, but I won't be able to get onto that till tomorrow morning. That's Raydorn Heim by DS Power. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Have a wonderful weekend. And thanks for watching.